guys and welcome back to my channel so I've just finished filming last week's video and now I'm gonna do another video for that I'm gonna have to take all my makeup so I will see you in a second so I'm back guys today we're gonna be doing how I used to do my makeup challenge I think somebody in heaven just sprayed this challenge around the youtube community for me because ironically i saved my very foundation from my youth in hope that it might bring back a bit of nostalgia in a few years to come here we are now i don't all right i think i think i'm just gonna start off we're gonna go in starting from when i was about 13 years old when i had no inspiration back when not even not even the people around me at my age while makeup so I just went in for it I went in for it in my mum's drawer and today not the same brush oh I have the same brush somewhere where are you oh no this is gonna annoy me well no it's not gonna annoy me but FYI I keep everything oh no we've found some more nostalgia here I even have the same perfumes more nostalgia <gasps> more nostalgia would you look what i found look at that that's just gold in 90s kids terms anyone remember this i don't think i'm gonna get anything out of this to be fair i don't know i might give it a go more nostalgia glitter eyeliner if anyone can guess where this is from anybody remember sabrina's secrets that's where this is from today we're going to be using a sabrina's secrets brush it's perfect the first look of the Emma Henry ages. By the way, I am not copying Nink and Poop's video. I literally commented on her video saying this is exactly what I used to do. This was one of the bronzers that I used to use. It's handed down from my mum. It's from the body shop, I think, and it is very dark. And I had no idea what to do with this. So I just put it all over my face. And I'm going to do another look after this, so my face is going to hit me. I don't even know if this is going to work. No, it's not wonderful. What did I use? I used one of them pads. Oh, this is a pad. Well, it is coming off, but it's not really big enough to get in somewhere. This was literally, I used, oh, I, I'm sure I used the brush, but obviously it was coated in this stuff. And I thought that it gave me a sun-kissed look. So I literally used to just go to town on my face. I remember going to Leeds like this with pigtails in my hair, like actual full on age 13 well at least i was young people didn't take me seriously i didn't blend it down neither probably didn't even go on my chin i look like i've just rubbed my face in fake tan when it's gone very patchy <laughs> way to waste makeup eh? i'm gonna try and fill in any gaps that i've got i don't even know if i filled in gaps back in there and then and then i used to use that lipstick and i bet i've still got it this was the number seven lipstick that i used to wear and i'm gonna tell you the shade but they probably don't do it anymore sheer temptation and we're gonna be well it's not even that bold really i used to love this and that's basically how i did my makeup when i was 13 because i used to like lip gloss but i didn't actually like lip gloss i liked lipstick but I like the look of lip gloss so that's why I used to wear this and I never used to do any makeup on my eyes and if I did I would oh I know I know I know where's that palette that I found earlier <gasps> I'll be able to tell because it'll be gone oh, I found the blue one apparently it was a brown one and I used to just use my fingers and I used to just put it on my lid that's not actually too bad to be honest I was sure I used that orange one more but that brown one's got a right didn't in it and yeah, there were no like eyebrows or anything like that. What brand is this anyway? I don't even tell you what brand it is. If anybody knows this brand, tell me. I put that with my makeup back in day. And I've got glitter on my eyelid. And I had bushy eyebrows, so obviously I can't recreate that. And brown hair and a fringe that was like up here. So now I'm going to go take off all this makeup and I will show you the more teenage years okay guys so now we're back first of all i think i'm going to talk through stuff that i did tend to use in between now i know i've shown you this one this was like all the colors and the main three that are a bit dinted is that one purple and that purple and the green a little bit as well i'm not going to be able to show you everything that i used to use i'll just go 
through some makeup palette get, so you can get the gist of it. I did used to use this Virgin V co co Carnival of Colour palette and I loved this so much. It's broken but I used to use the bottom. It's got like some... I used to use this one a lot. Apparently I used to use the lip glosses a lot. And then I remember I used to use the pink one out of the top as well. I don't have a drama here, I can see. Oh, it stinks. I definitely used that one and I definitely use this pink here. That pink there is dinted and I used to use the bronzer out of the other palette. So I guess I was using the right colours really. Oh, that's a start, I guess, but I never carried it on a bit. I think I'm going to use that palette actually in a minute. Don't all you beauty gurus shout at me for using makeup that's really out of date. <laughs> I know it's wrong, but it's only for today. This is one lipstick that I used to wear a hell of a lot. I'm not going to be wearing it because I used to use it when I was feeling a little bit girly. But it's just a bright pink colour and I used to love wearing this. I'll try and find a picture of me wearing it so you can just see the colour and stuff. This was another one that I used to wear all the time. This is actually like red with a pink tint to it when I'm wearing it. I don't know if I've got any pictures but I'll insert them if I have. And I never used to like wearing red lipstick so if I did wear a red lipstick that would be the red lipstick I wore. Oh this was another lip gloss that I was obsessed with. Found it, found it, we're all good. Starting off with my very original foundation, the Dream Matte Mousse. And I've saved some just in case I wanted to try it. That's what I mean. The gods sending me this challenge, I don't know. It looks pretty cracked. I hope it gets back to its original state. Oh my god, it's horrible. Oh, and I used to just rub it in. It's very flaky and it's going to go everywhere, but it is showing a little bit of coverage. I never used to use concealer. I just used to rub this on my face. Oh my god, this is awful. It's not in the fit state to be going on my face right now. Oh, I don't know if you can even see it flaky. Horrible, horrible. I'll show you in a minute how flaky it is. Put it this way, these jeans are going in the wash. I'll give it one thing. I, it feels very heavy on my face, but at the same time, it is very soft to touch. And it has got quite all right coverage, but I remember it was so soft to put on. I should have just gone and bought one, but I thought it'd be more nostalgic to use this. Oh my God, it's awful. It's so flaky. What rubbing. I look like a clown. So after doing this, I used to put that same bronzer on. Not the exact same one. Well, probably actually. I oh, know that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that palette that was showing. And I never used to put it around my neck or anything. I'll show you how flaky this is. It's so bad. It's just gone everywhere and that's just flakes. It's not even like liquid or anything. It's just like falling apart on me. I never know what to move on to next. Um, so I'm gonna actually do the bronzer. Again, I'm gonna be using that palette that I want about. I did used to use this and I never like did that like I just did then. I do that now, but I just basically rubbed it round just to give myself a little bit of a bronze and I also used to use this as an eyeshadow as well I remember using this on holiday and I like put it on and I'm like oh look I look like I've got a tan already oh sometimes use this as eyeshadow and it looked awful oh and I got this as well and my mum hated me wearing this oh I've got Mary Kate and Ashley thing here never had a pencil sharpener so I never used it after that but oh that, that'd make a nice highlight actually if I rubbed it in a bit it's like a, a frosted pink colour I did use the sponges, but I haven't got any sponges to hand. We're just going to use my fingers. I sometimes use my fingers anyway. I'm going to go in with the pink, and then I'm going to go in with that bronzy colour. So this bright pink I just used to put on my lid. That is very bright. And I used to love this palette. Oh, I've forgotten the eyeliner. I'll do it after. Of course, everyone used to use eyeliner. This was my holiday summer look. Again, going in with the brown. Oh, I Nostalgia coming at me. I did sometimes do this, not all the time. Yeah, I used to do this like on holiday. That looks more orange than it is on person. I never used to blend, but I'm blending today. Like I said, I used to use this Lancome a lot, but like I said, I'm gonna put my eyeliner on, which is actually my makeup bag. <laughs> the eyeliner that I've always used, I never use anything different. God knows how many of these I've bought in my lifetime. And I just used to, I never used to put it on my top. Oh, where's my bottom? Never used any blusher. Rarely used mascara. 
I'm going to use it just for this video and I used to use this mascara. I am very surprised that this is doing something. It's horrible though, it's so clumpy because it's all bloody waterline. Oh, I can't see out of that eye, it's going to annoy me. But yeah, that is my eyes. Oh, I might put some glitter on. Oh, we've got a bit of glitter. No, it's not doing anything. Anyway, I just used to put this on my eyelid but it's not coming out with anything. I'm going to use the lipstick that I was on about and I've no idea my grandma got me this this has seen some things could have just put it on my lips I never moisturized or anything so and if you see the cracks in my lips that's exactly what it looked like oh no this is like the worst video and that is my lips I used to love this lipstick so much and I used to use it like minus the eyeshadow like this is what I used to go to town looking like all the time. I'll try and insert some pictures. I know I've got some of me hanging around town with my friends when I were a little emo kid. I tried to be an emo kid but I didn't like too much eyeliner so I just used it around my rims of my eyes and I used to love this lipstick. God knows how many emos like this <laughs> colour lipstick because I look well girly don't I? I didn't obviously have pink hair back then it was very brown. And now I'm going to take the lipstick off, try and do my emo lipstick. Oh, that one as well. I used to like this lipstick as well. I loved this. I'm going to put this. Oh my God. I used, my, my cousin Martha will remember this lipstick. We used to use this ourselves, like when we used to have those little sleepovers. Don't even know if she watches my videos, but I'm going to send her this one. Hi Martha, do you remember this? Um. What were I going to do? This is going to annoy me. It was the lip gloss that I only ever used. It looks so sparkly. I remember I got this from my local pharmacy. My mum got a bright pink one and I'm like, mum, you can't go out wearing that. And she like, what? I'm going to try one of those lipsticks before I go. Um, I'm going to try this one because I know I used to use this bronze one a lot as well. It's got hairs on it that are brown hairs. Just saying. Oh my god, I used to wear this all the time. This is really weird. Like gold, what the hell? This is so weird. Why? I was like a metallic child. This is weird. I'm gonna leave it at that, guys. <laughs> yeah, this was the lipstick that I used to wear when I was about 13. I remember being on holiday, I think in Lanzarote or somewhere, and I walked around thinking this was like amazing. It's so weird. That's it for this week's video, guys. I just I've got so much other stuff to show you but it's just like everything because like I just keep everything hi guys just a quick check-in I've just remembered a video that I put on YouTube about 2008 or something and like it would be far I ever had my channel or anything and I did a bit of like a makeup tutorial thing so I thought I'd put this in here as well so you can enjoy that <laughs> just a snippet of it though you're not seeing the whole thing it's embarrassing watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up thanks for watching guys bye